My name is Julia. I'm a technical artist at Zebra AI. I'd like to present you with a breakdown of our recent project, Shuttle Launch, showcasing Zebra VDB rendered with post tracing in Unreal Engine. Zebra VDB is volumetrics, compression, and rendering technology that enhances the convenience of working with VDBs and enables true real time usage. It comes as plugins for Unreal Engine and Houdini. This scene contains four VDBs, three large effects for the shadow launch created in Houdini with Axiom plugin and a fork VDB generated in Embergen. Now let me show you how quickly and efficiently you can compress VDBs in Houdini and import them into Unreal. The shadow launch animation was keyframed in Houdini and exported to Unreal as an FBX file. I then extracted the bottom section and created a pop emitter to drive the Axiom solver for the primary launch emission. Here, I'm caching the simulation to a standard file cache node right after the Axiom solver. That's because the volume requires additional optimizations. It's important to avoid placing two compression nodes in the same branch, as compression overlay can lead to jacked results. The original effect sequence was 10.6 GB. But after compression, it's just 580 megabytes. That's a 95% reduction while still keeping the visual quality. To import the Zebra VDB file, I just drag and drop it into the content folder of my Unreal Engine project. Then I place it in the scene and adjust its position and orientation. As you can see, it renders instantly. Since the effect has density and temperature channels, I tweak the settings to get the look I want. As I mentioned earlier, the animated fog was created in Embergen and exported as a VDB sequence, with a total size of 5.2 GB. To compress the VDB sequence inside Unreal Engine, go to Tools, Zebra VDB, Import VDB Sequence. Select the first file of your sequence, choose the compression quality and hit Compress. The sequence was reduced to 200 MB, which is 96% reduction in file size. For past tracing rendering, toggle use heterogeneous volume in the Zebra VDB actor. This enables Unreal Engine's built-in volumetric rendering, allowing the VDB to be rendered with the past tracing. Now let's switch from lit mode to past tracing mode to see how it looks. With the past tracing, the density needs to be lowered significantly to achieve a more realistic look and to reduce memory usage. For this effect, the sweet spot was a density scale of 0.12. You have full control over the animation and all VDB parameters inside the sequencer. Once you add a Zebra VDB actor, just hit the plus button to access all available parameters within its component. For example, I've added a playback component to control the current frame parameter, allowing me to animate the effect directly in the timeline. When rendering large volumetric effects with post tracing, you might run into rendering issues caused by default memory limits. You can override them with the console variables in Movie Render Queue settings. If you still hit the memory limits, try lowering the density of your VDBs even further. You can get the Zebra VDB plugin for Unreal Engine on Fab, along with some test effects to play with. And Goudini plugin comes as a part of Side Effects Labs. Hope you have fun! Cheers!